Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Hone PC Optimization Program. Hone PC Optimizer is the ultimate tool to unleash the full potential of your PC and maximize your gaming experience. With the Hone PC Optimizer, you can dramatically increase your FPS, reduce input lag, and even improve network efficiency. Now, I have done a video on Hone before, but back then it was a very basic, bare bones script. However, it has come a long way since then. So today we're going to be checking out the new version of Hone and seeing if it's good for low end PC out there. So without further ado, let's get into it. Today's video is brought to you by NordPass, the secure password manager for businesses. If you're struggling to keep track of all your accounts and remember your passwords, then NordPass has you covered. As a content creator myself, I have multiple online accounts out there and it's really difficult to keep track of them all. It's even worse when you find out your accounts have been compromised due to weak passwords or if you've just been lazy and used the same password for everything. However, this is where NordPass comes in. NordPass is a secure password manager that stores all of your passwords for you in your own secure personal vault. NordPass can sync across multiple devices and it's a little bit like carrying a vault with you with all your passwords secured in there wherever you go. And whenever you're Signing up to a new account online, NordPass can generate a secure, unique, and strong password, and it completely eliminates the need to remember them all. NordPass even has a password health checker, which tells you if your passwords are weak, reused, or old, which is an absolute game changer and can really help keep your business safe. If you're ready to take back control of your passwords, then check out NordPass. I highly recommend checking them out. I'll leave a link to them in the description down below. And if you use my link, nordpass.com slash notrodan, and use the code notrodan, you can get a three month trial completely free of charge to decide whether you like it or not. Thank you to NordPass for sponsoring this video and let's get into it. All right guys, so here we are on my low end PC. So I've got a fresh install of Windows 11 here. Now I have run the Chris Titus tool. So if we have a look at the task manager here, as you can see, we've got about 77 processes, which is really good for a fresh install of Windows 11. But yeah, today we're gonna be checking out the Hone PC optimization program, which I've got right here. Now, if you wanna get it for yourself, you can get it off their website just go to hone.gg I'll leave a link to it in the description down below and yeah you can pretty much download it directly from here now I've got the premium version of hone and I'm gonna be showing off the premium features today right let's go ahead and open up hone so yeah as you can see it has come a long way since the first script now first things first we need to accept this warning here so it's just a warning just make sure to read through all of this make sure you're happy with it basically they're not responsible for any damage you do to your computer so I definitely recommend doing a backup of your computer creating a system restore point and then running this so yeah let's just agree to these terms confirm and here we are on the main hone program so yeah we've got all these tweaks down the left here it gives you a nice description on the right of what it is and then you can apply it or you can revert it which is pretty cool so yeah what we can do is we can actually go ahead and select all here apply selected tweaks and that's literally it it is super easy to do and it's actually going really quickly which i'm quite surprised about and there we go it's done. It is as easy as that. So yeah, now we've applied all of these tweaks. It's probably a good idea to restart your computer. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right. So I've just restarted my computer here and I've just launched Hone again. Now, as you can see, we've now got a green dot against the things that have been successfully applied on our system. So yeah, let's just go through some of them and see exactly what it's doing. So yeah, the first one says it optimizes the core usage and priority of your GPU, USB and network controllers to reduce latency and reduce load on these devices. That is a really good tweak. So it's setting a high priority for our GPU, which will improve our gaming performance. And it's also optimizing our USB and network controllers. So that means that my mouse will have hardly any latency now. And it should also improve our network as well. So very good for competitive gaming. So optimize AMD graphics has been applied, even though I don't have an AMD graphics card in this computer. We've got Windows audio latency as well, which is quite cool. We've got this one here, which just optimizes your boot configs, should make your computer turn on a lot quicker. We've got priority for Windows mouse as well which is very good to have and we've got some like network auto tuning going on here we've got idle which has been disabled so we go ahead and go into our task manager oh okay so before when we disabled idle our cpu would be running at 100 constantly the fans would be spinning up and it's probably not recommended to do that on a laptop however this time it's actually worked yeah tweaks been applied and it disables the processor's idle state so yeah i'm not really too sure if that visual bug's been fixed now or if they've done something but yeah, pretty cool and uh, not much usage going on in our hardware, which is pretty cool. So yeah, the thing with disabling idle is that it does come at a cost of a higher power consumption. But if you've got a desktop PC, then it's fine. If you're on a laptop, 
you may have some problems with that. So we can also disable Windows mitigations. Now, probably not the best thing to do from a security standpoint, but it is very understandable if you're on a low-end PC, Windows is always doing stuff in the background, which can slow down your computer. So this basically just disables that. And it doesn't look like that's been applied on my computer. So we've got network task overloading as well here. Some more network optimization stuff here. Disable tracking and telemetry. Perfect. This is exactly what we need. So even though I've run the Chris Titus tool, it's good to also do this. But yeah, it basically just disables various settings and features in Windows to remove tracking, telemetry and security. Really happy that this has come included as part of Hone. You can optimize network priority through here as well. Then we've got some general optimizations and stuff here. Fine tuning various registry values and system settings to improve graphics acceleration, reduce resource consumption and enhance responsiveness. Some general optimizing internet settings as well here. Device MSI property, which removes system interruptions and increases stability. Optimizing our network cards, bandwidth, power plan as well. I'd be interested to see what power plan we're on now. So if we go into our power plan, as you can see, we've got the Hone Ultimate Power Plan V3, which was not obviously here before. If we go into the settings of this, as you can see, it will never turn off the display and never put the computer to sleep, which probably isn't great, but I'm sure you can change that. And there's also some advanced power settings as well here, which I won't mess with. I'm sure they've been optimized as part of Hone, but yeah, very cool to see. And then we've got Nvidia tweaks, which would be very good for me with someone with an Nvidia graphics card. So this adjusts the Nvidia control panel to optimize graphics and reduce latency. Disable Nvidia telemetry, perfect. I've been using MV Clean Install for the longest time now because GeForce Experience is just more bloatware than it actually is helpful. So very good that this has come included, but I do recommend using MV Clean Install to get any NVIDIA drivers nowadays. And we've also got P-States as well here. We've got general NVIDIA optimizations. Good stuff to have in here. Disable NVIDIA HDCP. And we've also got disable NVIDIA preemption. So yeah, that is pretty much all the tweaks. Like I said, you get a description on the right here of everything and you can decide whether to apply it or revert it. So say if I wanted to revert the disable idle tweak, I just press revert and that's it. It's done. Easy. So yeah, I really like how this is laid out. It's very good for new users. Like I said, just a couple of clicks and it will optimize your computer. And if you want to undo anything, the option's right there, which is really good to see. We've also got backup, which is probably the most important thing. So make sure you do this before applying any of the changes. I'm just going to put that as a little disclaimer now. Make sure you back up and create a system restore point before applying any tweaks. I only just went straight in and did it straight away because I don't have much on this computer. I don't really care about this. It's just a fresh install of Windows. But if you've got lots of stuff on your computer you don't want to lose, definitely use this button. Create a system restore point. And you can also restore backups through here as well, which is really cool. And then we've also got a support tab here, which is basically just a link to their Discord server, which I'll also leave in the description down below. Then we've just got some settings here. You can open Hone on Startup if you want, and you can log out. And you will need an account to use Hone, but you can just sign in with Discord or Google. It's pretty easy. So yeah, that is pretty much the Hone PC optimizer. Let's install Minecraft and see what our performance is like. All right, so here we are in a fresh install of Minecraft 1.8.9. So this is completely vanilla. We've got no mods or clients or anything like that. We're just going to turn down some video settings here, disable VSync. And yeah, I think that is pretty much all the settings that we're going to have. So let's go ahead and create a new world and see what gaming is like now that we've run the Hone PC optimization script. All right, so here we are in vanilla 1.8.9 and straight away, it does feel pretty snappy. So let's go ahead and look at our FPS. Wow, 250 FPS we got there. That's insane. So obviously, yeah, we've got the GTX 1060 in here, which is a very good graphics card for Minecraft. But even before then, I used to get a lot less FPS. If we go into full screen here, see what we get now. Yeah, still about, oh, we almost got 300 FPS there. Pretty good. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with this. Obviously, yeah, we've got, you know, good video settings settings as well. So it's not like we turned down any settings. We've got very, very good FPS. Now let's try this out on the latest version. I'd be very interested to see what our performance is like there. Right, here we are on Minecraft 1.20. So let's see what our performance is like. This is going to be a very interesting test here. So yeah, straight away we put on our FPS. It's not very good. And that's because worlds in Minecraft 1.20 do take a little bit of time to load in. And then our FPS should get a little bit more stable. I hope so anyway. 
Okay, so this feels a lot smoother now. We've loaded in a little bit. And if we look at our FPS, what? Did I just see like 700 there? And still, we're getting about 200, even 300 FPS, 400. What? That's even better than Minecraft 1.8.9. How is that even possible? Before, 1.20 would kill my FPS. But once you leave it to load in for a little bit, these are the settings we're using, by the way. So they're pretty standard settings, fancy graphics, clouds, all of that good stuff. And look at the FPS we're getting. That is really really good. I don't think I remember getting this level of performance before in 1.20. So yeah, the home script has definitely helped us out there. And yeah, it just feels really smooth. Input as well is really good as well. I mean, I am using a wireless mouse right now, so it's probably not the best. But still, it does feel very snappy, very smooth. My sensitivity kind of feels a bit more responsive as well. I'm not sure whether my mouse settings have gone up. No, my sensitivity is still the same. So yeah, maybe I had um, mouse acceleration and Hones disabled that. So my mouse feels a lot more kind of sensitive now. And yeah, that is much better for competitive gaming. So speaking of competitive, let's try and do some 1v1s on 1.20 on Hypixel. This is going to be very scuffed because obviously 1.20's got delays and Hypixel doesn't. But I'm still performing pretty good. I mean, look at this guy. And GG, we won. I must say this is really smooth for 1.20. I can't actually believe we're getting, what, 300, 400, 500 FPS on <laughs> Minecraft 1.20? What? Am I even on the right computer right now? Am I actually on my low end PC? I genuinely can't tell the difference. Oh, imagine what it would be like with a client. We're definitely going to try a PvP client after this and see if it's any better. Okay, this guy looks good. He's on zero. Come on. One bow shot. And we won. We are so good at PvP. What is this? So another thing we can do with the Hone PC Optimizer is we can actually go to this Games tab and we can add a game. Now, for some reason, it's not working for me right now. But in the future, you should be able to see Minecraft here. You should be able to go ahead and select it. And you might even be able to launch optimized versions of Minecraft through Hone, which would be super cool. But for now, that's not working. But it's okay, because already our performance has improved a lot, as you guys have seen. Now I've installed Lunar Client, let's try and do some proper PvP on 1.8.9 and see what kind of performance we get. And yeah, our FPS is very good. Normally on the Hypixel lobby, my FPS starts to struggle with all the players and stuff. We have got players on right now, but there isn't many people in this lobby. So let's go ahead and uh, go to Duels Lobby 1, say. And yeah, even then, our FPS is still pretty good. 120 FPS, just loading in here. 300. Wow, that is pretty good. And bear in mind our video settings, they haven't changed. They're still on pretty high settings, really. So yeah, very good performance on here. So yeah, let's hop into a Hypixel duel here. Wow, did you just see that? A thousand FPS we got. What? Yeah, if we look up and we look down, we get over a thousand FPS. Let's go. So yeah, PvP is pretty good. My rods feel pretty instant. Given that this is a US server, it's not too bad. And we probably lost this because this guy just spammed his bow. Let's do the same to him real quick. You are dead. There we go. GG. So, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this, honestly. Like I said, my mouse feels a lot more responsive. My connection's pretty good as well. We've got five bars, which is pretty good. Obviously, I'm based in the UK, so my connection to Hypixel isn't great. In fact, actually, let's have a look at my ping. I wonder if there's a ping. Pretty sure there's a ping mod here. Let's just uh, do that. So we're getting 130 ms, which is pretty normal. But honestly, for 130 ms... This does feel quite good. So yeah, would I recommend the Hone optimization software? Yes, I mean, look at that. I'm actually really good at PvP. My connection's good. My mouse feels a lot smoother. It's also de-bloated Windows and done some other stuff under the hood. So yeah, definitely check out Hone. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. You guys can test it out for yourself. You don't have to pay for it. There are some free tweaks you can do, which will definitely help. And there's probably also the old version you can use as well. Although I definitely recommend using the new version. It's a lot easier to use. And uh, yeah, it really helps. So Hone's not just good for Minecraft. It's also good for other games like CSGO, Valorant, and uh, all those kind of like competitive shooter games that you guys might play out there. It's all perfectly legal. You won't get banned off servers for using this. Just thought I'd clear that up because I got some comments on my last Hone video about that. So yeah, pretty cool. Definitely recommend checking it out. Like I said, link will be in the description. Thank you guys all for watching. And if you guys want to check out my last video where I customized my windows and made it look super clean, then click here and I'll see you guys there.